Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I want to go ahead and do a little quick review for the creator. In my opinion, movies that get all this hype and they, you know, critics go crazy over them are usually not that great in my opinion. You know, like Rotten Tomatoes, they always giving high score to trash movies and <laughs> And usually give you know a, a bad score to great movies so i'll usually make my own opinion when it comes to that so but but yeah with this one i'm gonna i'm gonna have to be with them uh you know this movie is just the storytelling is really really good in my opinion it's wild to me how all the movies spend so much money on budget when it comes to you know just to name one this year, The Flash, I don't know how that movie was almost 300 million when the CGI was not that good. The same goes with Indiana Jones. This movie was only 80 million on budget and it looks way better than both, both of those movies. Uh, so of course, budget is usually, you know, it's not about money when making a movie. It's about who is making the movie, director and the team that, you know, the director chooses to make a movie. It's about experience, you know, it's, it's, it's about knowing what you're doing, in my opinion. You know, I'm, I'm saying that, I'm not trying to be, you know, that's just not me trying to kind of talk crap about all the directors or creators thing. I just don't know what, what goes behind the scenes with a lot of movies when they waste so much money and you don't really see where the budget went. And this one is, is wild to me that this movie shows you that you can make a great movie with a lower budget and this movie literally looks way better than a lot of movies that came out this year just this year alone this movie looks so much better with a lower budget um but yeah besides that you know besides the cgi being amazing like i said before the storytelling is really good uh you also have the characters in my opinions are really really good um kidding this movie the little robot um you really fall in love with her I believe uh, her name was Alfie, um, you know, she, the little girl, <laughs> pretty much, you know, the whole character thing between, you know, um, Alfie and Joshua in the movie literally almost made me cry a few times in the movie. Um, the movie is very, it's very heartwarming. Um, is you know, the movie has a huge me message, which is usually, you know, kind of sucks to me, in my opinion. Movies that usually have a huge message about you know the government the world and all this they usually don't do good at the box office which are which i you know in my opinion those are movies that people should be supporting more not craps you know useless stuff like barbie or all the stuff but anyways you know that's just a different thing to talk about um so do i recommend this movie absolutely uh everybody needs to go watch this movie right now you know when you can you want to wait for the weekend uh, go ahead, try to watch this movie on the biggest screen possible because the visuals are gonna blow you away. And of course, it's not just about visuals. Like I said, keep, you know, like I continue to say, the storytelling is really, really good. Um, I cannot wait to get this one on Blu-ray, you know, 4K. So yeah, go watch this movie, everybody. It's really, really, really good. Um, we need to support movies like this. I know a lot of people usually People usually online cry about not having anything original anymore. But every time an uh, original movie comes out, they don't go and support the movie at the box office. And that's why studios are always remaking and they continue to make the same crappy superhero movie over and over again. This is something original. This is something, you know, different. So go and support this movie. 